Ah, oh, we got company, and that's sweet. Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today, we are going to take a look at our friend, Dark Phoenix. Uh, at character creation, we can recreate a pretty darn good version of our friend, Dark Phoenix. Uh, basically, I've been toying with the idea of making a fire-based character to be able to use the uh, fire aura or the scorching aura. I have a fire-based hero already, but it's my Superman character. So I was toying with the idea of maybe making a fire-based villain so, uh, so that I could have a fire character that would actually use the fire aura. Again, as you can see, using the gold material at character creation, you can create a pretty darn good version of our friend Dark Phoenix. Here I'm using uh, the T-Slim line uh, chest piece, and for the pants, I think this is the two-color slim line. For the gloves, it's the formal gloves, uh, the same with the belt. The belt is also the formal belt, and the boots are the tight height boots. Everything you see here, you can get at character creation. Uh, the, for the material, you have to purchase the gold material, obviously. If you don't have the gold material, obviously this is as close as you're going to be able to get. So ideally, you're going to want to use the gold material. And of course, once you start using armories, uh, you're going to be able to create various looks for your phoenix character like this is pretty much the original phoenix look that the character had in the comics uh, for the emblem i'm using the the wing emblem but uh, there is another emblem that will work much better uh, sadly obviously this is a fairly new character that i've created uh, so there's quite a few styles that i don't have with this character just yet although i'm not quite certain if i'm going to actually use this character or not i'm still uh, i'm still toying with that idea so what else can we add in order to recreate a pretty darn good version of Dark Phoenix? We're going to change character and take a look at that. So here we can see a few examples of a few things that I would like to be able to use to be able to create an even better version of Dark Phoenix. Obviously the very first thing is the emblem. Here you can see I'm using the Raven emblem and this is the enhanced version of the Raven emblem. So if I could use that with my female character, uh, that would make it one step closer to looking like the evil Dark Phoenix. Uh, the material I'm using for the, the red part, I'm using the negative speed force material. But if you don't want to have the lightning effects, uh, the void material would, be, would pretty much be perfect to recreate the very, very same look. And obviously, one of the main things that you would have to use with your Dark Phoenix character would be the fire aura. So basically, I've been toying with uh, with the idea of creating a fire-based character that would be able that would be able to use that aura. Uh, so I'll probably have a, a video, one more video or two uh, with the fire aura to try to come up with ideas. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Ah, oh, we got a legendary Rat King from our, our from our little kitty cat. So obviously, as you can see, we can also recreate a pretty darn good version of the classic Phoenix costume. Uh, in this case, I'm using the stalwart in the new chest. But for um, the female character that I showed you before, uh, basically to sort of reproduce that effect, I was using the chevron uh, slimline. Here you can see the distinction on the male character using also the chevron uh, slimline. So the emblem is a little bit bigger on the stalwart defender chest, which is why I, I often use it by default on uh, quite a lot of characters. I kind of like having uh, the bigger emblem whenever possible. So obviously, if I could have the fire aura on my female character, and if I could have the void material or the negative speed force material, it would take me one step closer to recre recreating a pretty awesome Dark Phoenix character. Although I'm not, I haven't decided just yet if I am going to create uh, Dark Phoenix or not. Uh, I'm still, uh, I'm still trying to look for maybe other characters that I could create. Ideally, I would like to create a fire-based character from uh, DC Comics. Right now, I guess the better option I have in mind would be Sunboy. I would be able to have uh, quite a few variations on uh, on Sunboy. Uh, Sunboy had uh, quite a few costumes throughout the years, so that could be, I guess, one option that I could go for. Ideal, although I, ideally I have quite a few uh, hero characters, and I already have my Superman character that, that uses uh, fire. 
So, ideally, I'm trying to find an evil villain that uses fire. And if it can be a, a DC character, even better. Although right now, the Phoenix would be a pretty darn good option. Although technically Jean Grey isn't really using uh, fire powers, she's actually using uh, telekinetic and uh, telepathic powers. Although once she turned into Dark Phoenix, a lot of their powers ability pretty much had uh, fire effects added to them. So I guess she was using uh, telekinetic powers, but somehow there was like a, a fire effect added to her tele telekinetic powers. So I guess technically to try to be closer to Dark Phoenix, the, the real actual ability she should have is mental powers. But I, I kind of thought with uh, the fire aura, it probably would be a better idea to use uh, fire powers. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. So again, I'm not really decided if I'm going to create the Phoenix character or not or if I'm going to keep this uh, Phoenix character or not, or if I'm going to just uh, maybe go for another fire-based uh, character. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. So that's uh, pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.